Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here's my a pretty good start to my complete custom loop system I'm planning right now. Um, and this is the collection of parts that I have. I'm still waiting on, unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately. This pisses me off to no end. When I built my system, doing a, a complete loop water cooling kit really was not in the foreseeable future for me. Um, I was lucky enough to actually win the Alpha Cool uh, complete set uh, from Jay's Two Cents. And big shout out to him for that. Appreciate it. And Aqua Tuning for their fifth anniversary. So that kind of threw everything back into a... It's now a reality. And when I chose my video card, I wasn't really concerned about water block availability. I chose a uh, EVGA GTX 770 Classified, which is a custom PCB, extra wide, and there's a single water block manufactured for it. Available through, it may, may, manufactured by Swift Tech for EVGA, it's the only one that's out there. Um, I've had a lot of people uh, looking for me, checking overclock, um, you know, any place anyone's selling something, if you have one, I'd be interested in, in getting it from you. Um, the 680 classified and the 770 classified, same water block. So if anyone's got one, leave me a message. Let me know. Uh, I'm interested. Um, but this is a collection of, of parts that I've gotten so far. Um, just kind of collecting everything. Really want to um, get everything I need as, as much as I can ready so when I actually do my my uh, my loop it's not stuck for ah oh, shit I'm waiting for a you know another radiator or a, um, a connector or tubing or whatever it may be so let me run through real quick on, on the parts I've already got collected um, out of the alpha cool set um, I have another video on this uh, if you're interested to go back and watch that full unboxings but I'll run through just real quick what I actually have um, at this point, I've got um, four of the SP120 PWM High Performance Edition. And a lot of people, you know, really want silent, silent, silence, and, and that's fine. And, and these will run quiet. And I ran. I've got a. I've got four of them already. I think that's really all I'm going to need for for fans. Um, and the reason I got the I wanted the high performance. Is I'm going to be running a Bit Phoenix uh, Recon fan controller, so now I can control the speed, um, make it quiet, or if I'm you know doing some bench testing or doing some heavy overclocking or whatever I'm doing where I, I feel like I need the speed, it's available for me. I mean these spin up to 23, 2350 RPM, and these put out. God, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. They put out a ridiculous amount of CFM, uh, 62 CFM at 3.1 millimeter of water. So that, that's the actual pressure that it's putting out. So these are really, really impressive fans. Um, I'm not going to go with the blue and go with the red because that's, that's my build color. Um, so it's there if I want it. It's there if I need it. And I can crank them down. They're still going to be putting out a, a ton of air. I don't have to worry about, you know, the the resistor to, to drop the, the voltage to, to quiet them down or anything like that. So so that's what I got there. Um, I have also, um, in addition to the, I've got a XSPC EX240. This is a cross flow radiator, which um, it's not as effective. It, it's, it's I'll, I'll show you in a second when I get this out. Cross flow versus regular flow radiators. It comes with all the screws, everything you need to, to mount it. But this here, it's it's a relatively slim line. I believe it's a 30 millimeter. I could be mistaken off the top of my head. I think it's a 30 millimeter radiator. But the cross flow, so you have you have entrance here, exit here, entrance here, exit here, however you 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 run it. But this is what's called a single pass radiator. So basically the water comes in here, goes through your your tubing and your core of your radiator and exits the other side. That's all the time that it's in the actual radiator. 
Or on the flip side, you have this Alpha Cool UT60. Again, this is a full copper radiator, just like the XSPC, where it's actually the XSPC, I believe, is, is copper and brass. Um, this is a traditional radiator where it's not a cross flow. Your fluid comes in one side, comes, makes the loop down here, and back out this side. So it's actually making two passes along, along the lines of, of cooling fins. Um, this one is actually also a 60 mil compared to the XSPC block. And you can see with the larger tanks, it's going to take up some more room. Not a, a lot more, but it's going to take up some. Um, and the one advantage to the cross flow is in the loop, how I have it planned. This is going to be mounted in the roof of the case. And it's going to eliminate some of the tubing. Because um, as I have it planned in my head right now, is CPU blocks going to come into here. And then it's going to exit on this side and flow back to the radiator. So you're, you're I'm cutting out, you know, this much tubing that I don't have to worry about, which is nice. Is it necessary? No, not really. Um, a majority of my cooling is going to come from this radiator because it is so thick. It is a double pass. Um, this is adding volume because it's got the nice big tanks on either end that's going to hold more 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 cooling fluid, um, and. It's also cutting out some uh, some length of tubing that I don't have to worry about, which, which is nice, which is really kind of the intention of this radiator itself. Um, let's get this out of the way real quick. And again, the Nexus CPU cooler, it's a Alpha Cool VPP 655 pump variable speed. Um, it's all going to be uh, compression fittings. Uh, these are the ones that come in the kit. There are six of them. They're, they're all copper. Um, I've got coolant. I've got a couple extra fans if I want to go push-pull, but in reality, these are probably just going to kind of sit in the box. Not really sure if I'm going to need them at this point. I, I really believe um, the four of these fans are going to be plenty for these two rides. It is a dual bay reservoir, and because I'm, I'm Putting it all into a 750D, there's three expansion bays or three five and a quarter inch bays, and because when you pull the covers off, you leave the big gaps on either side. I figure, you know what? Screw it. Get the fan controller to control the fans. Get the dual bay and just make it look uniform all the way down. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. That's what I'm I'm planning on. Um, GPU block I still need. Um, I also need, and I also tossed around the idea of running a uh, acrylic hardline. Um, that's going to be down the road a little ways. And once I get the whole system set up, then I'll look at you know using just the regular hose um, down the road a little ways. I'll look at doing um, the hard lines and stuff like that. I, I, I just think they look really really cool. So, anyways, there's a rundown of, of my my loop at least as it is of now and uh, stay tuned for uh, some more first timers custom loop cooling we'll catch you later